A mass media is reporting that the three sons of the group's leader, Ismail Haniye, have been killed in the north of Gaza. Haniye himself lives in exile in Doha. Well, let's get the very latest on this for you. And let's go to Jerusalem. The ABC correspondent Jordana Miller is with me from there. Jordana, what can you tell us this hour? Well, we heard just a, a minutes ago Ismail Haniyeh on Al Jazeera saying that the Israeli army targeted uh, his family, uh, three of his sons and three of his grandchildren killed. He said that they had gone to celebrate the Eid festival together. They were at one of the uh, refugee camps near Gaza City, uh, one that's on the coast. Uh, and, uh, you know, he obviously condemned Israel for the strike. Um, and, you know, the big question now is how would the, how will this impact uh, the ceasefire and hostage release deal talks that are ongoing right now? Uh, Ismail Haniyeh, of course, as the top political leader of the movement, he's been central to those talks and passing on. Uh, the latest deals to uh, Yahya Sinwar, the military commander in the Gaza Strip. And uh, the question is, would they possibly halt uh, the talks now uh, or uh, harden their demands or delay it somehow? Um, this was certainly a big hit um, and a big strike uh, at Ismail Haniyeh's personal family. Um, and by the way, right at the moment when Israel had taken, I mean, taken out, pulled out, withdrawn all of its combat soldiers and supporting soldiers from the south. This was an airstrike carried out. Um, and I guess Israel trying to send the message that even though its troops are not there in the same number as they were before, uh, until there's actually a ceasefire, you know, they are still going after all their targets. And as you say, Jordana, we will have to wait and see what impact the killing of Haniye's three sons has on ceasefire talks. But those talks have been underway in recent days, mostly taking place in the Egyptian capital, Cairo. What's your understanding as to how much, if any, progress has been made until now and what the Israeli position currently is? Well, you know, everyone's basically in a holding pattern right now, waiting to hear Hamas's response to this uh, latest deal. Uh, they looked at it. They said initially that Israel had not met their demands, um, but they would study the proposal. Um, you know, on the Israeli side, we know that Israel has showed some flexibility and changed its position, for example, on the issue of Gazans returning to northern Gaza. Some now, uh, tens of thousands, will be able to go back without any security checks. Uh, remember, for the Israelis, the concern is that men of fighting age will return to northern Gaza uh, and basically regroup, uh, uh, you know, and help Hamas again uh, reassert its control over northern Gaza, which is the one area that Israel said it had more or less controlled. Uh, so that's a major issue. Um, but we do understand from the Israeli side that there are still gaps. Uh, and it's really, it has to be said, it's unclear whether, uh, is, you know, whether Israel's prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, and Yahya Sinwar, the leader of Hamas, if those two men who make the final decisions, if they're really ready to make a deal. You know, Netanyahu is looking to the future. His political survival sometimes appears to be uh, first on the list. Any ceasefire might, you know, bring his government down. On the other side, Yahya Sinwar, despite the destruction we've seen in the Gaza Strip and the intolerably high uh, death toll, the tragic death toll, uh, it, we have to remember that Hamas is in a strong position still. Their leaders are alive. They're holding 129 hostages. Uh, Aid is coming in in, in huge uh, flows now without Hamas having to do anything. There's a rift between Israel and the United States. Israel's trying to prevent, uh, you know, the America's trying to prevent the operation in Rafah, which, of course, Hamas is happy about. So Yahya Sinwar is also in a strong position uh, to not make a deal yet. So I'm not sure, despite some of the optimism, I'm not sure we're going to get a deal now, but certainly the United States is pushing for that. 
Jordana Miller in Jerusalem. Thank you very much indeed.